Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Proud reaction to the 24th episode of Macross Delta. And last episode, we continued to explore this wonderful white cold land that is known as Windermere. And we did have a bit of a run in with the locals that were not too happy to see us. We got Nikomo is kidnapped and just Freya, Freya's group's kind of kidnapped, and they keep talking about the whole. I had his father thing, and we're still trying to get that all figured out and result re resoluted, resolved, and that's kind of where we left off. So, let's jump on in and see what happens with this episode. Three, two, one, play. Oh, yeah, we are straight up prisoners of war. Uh, is it is it a time for our one free phone call? Okay, we're up in front of his ma the Majesty himself. Yeah, I mean for Freya, this probably has a lot of importance to it. Being in front of the ruler of her planet like this, probably don't want to. Usually, probably wouldn't want to see your king in such a in such a context, but hey, maybe we could talk to him, work things out. You know, maybe, maybe. near the system they are thoroughly caught uh oh of course it's freaking him what do you want Yeah, for sure. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, this is pretty much what I thought he was doing. Nikomo, that half-assed bondage. <laughs> How was asked questions then? Defile me. No. I want to talk to my lawyer. Yeah, just shut up, please.
Ah, uh, Freya. <laughs> a fair question. Please give a good answer. You want to hear Freya sing? Because I'm sure she'd be willing to sing for you. <laughs> You're like the sun, Freya. The moon? Or, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the sun is technically a star, too. But... At least, don't at least me. Uh, yeah, not the best time to make a move, Hayate. Although we gotta do something. Yeah, this is not really a true trial. I don't think anyone thought it was. Can somebody hit him? Oh, that was a nice tackle. Uh, yeah, it was not how I wanted that to go. There's more than enough. Tuned it. Good question. We must think he gets a profit from this. Okay. Still don't trust you, but sure. <laughs> yeah, so go back to your spot and stay there and shut up. War is not good for one's mental health. <laughs> we regret nothing. We set him free. Of course, they're all in agreement. 
Big shocker. So I'm not sure how we get out of this one. I mean, Mikamo maybe can manage something. Although she's not in the best position. She's real enough. This could be a problem. I just I don't like the manipulation we're doing with from Roy to her. This cause nothing good can come of this. Basically walk the plank. I feel like we'll manage something. But they're not just going to kill off three of the most important characters in the show. They, would, they wouldn't do that, so there's got to be something. He's never liked that as that thing. Yeah, you should know him. Can't someone just like stab him? I find a wish to die first. I mean, all he has to do is fly somehow and it'll be fine, so... I imagine what's gonna happen is everyone else with the father's plane will zoom in there and catch him before he splats. I assume that's what's gonna happen. That would make the most sense. Die, at least just don't try not to hit your head on anything. I think it'd be worth living a few extra seconds. And he's gonna like drop backwards. Yeah, like that. 
There is something up there. I saw a sparkle. Yep, there it is. That would be it. Okay, so not, not exactly how I imagined, but it's about 80% of how I imagined it. The plan came for the rescue was the important part. Time to fly. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, luckily none of those bullets hit. And then it, yes, yeah, wishes in and catches them. Yeah, I really appreciate the hospitality, but we're, we're leaving now, so... Apparently. <laughs> it's not the same without Mikamo. <laughs> I hope you're right. That's her. Quick change. Yeah, just so we're not seeing Mikamo there. Yeah, she can. She knows. <laughs> oh, excellent shots there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to deal with it. I think that's selling them a little bit short. They're more than that. What did you just do? Oh, is that a sniper? Oh, that is a real problem. Yeah, like, can we kill that guy? Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, that is... Oh, that is... That uh, that looks really bad. Uh, this is no time for singing. Uh... <laughs> I would not be able to sing in that situation. Uh, look, you've had a lot of close calls with the wall. Could I get attacked in the middle of a battle? But we'd never had that happen, I don't think. Like, it's probably not fatal, but... Oh, got a, he got a little something there. <laughs> I 
I love seeing you angry. Also, how is things going with Mikamo? This really doesn't look good. <sighs> yeah, but she's not really herself exactly right now. Uh, weird stuff is happening again. I think it might be. Oh, that is something. Yeah, this would be a good time to leave. Get her to a hospital. That'd, that'd be great. <sighs> yeah, everyone through the portal. But what about Mikamo? Did we just kind of leave her behind? I mean, we probably didn't have much choice at that point, but... <sighs> yeah, what exactly is that? I hope that's not like, uh... That one thing. I think we've seen that on people before. Windermere, specifically. So it's, it's probably not a good thing. Because we know the Windermere don't have a long lifespan, and I just hope that's not connected to that. Because uh, I think it might be. How could they frickin' shoot Machina? That is not okay. If anything should be crime punishable by death, it's that. Imagine having to sing while your close friend is lying next to you, bleeding out. Being a Wakude is not all fun and games. <laughs> yeah, Mikamo is still here. And he's probably been, like, fully... Corrupted. Like taking control of. Singer of the Stars. Of course, that's next episode's title. Well, that was the, the 24th episode of Macross Delta. And we did start off just with our, our prisoners of war. They're not they were not in the best spot. And they the Windermans they claimed to give us a trial, right? And they gave us something that kinda looked like a trial if you squint your eyes enough, but of course it wasn't. There was it was extremely biased to say the least. There was only one way that was gonna go. And just the red haired jerk constantly being himself, which is always insufferable. And they just, they, I, I thought maybe we could get through to their king, but uh, not did not quite go so well, really. And they made us walk the plank, essentially. It was, yeah, basically walk the plank, except it was 
rather than being pirate themed it was wind themed because obviously you got the wind blowing and stuff as you're walking on it so it did feel like a very fitting kind of thing for their for them for their people having that as their way of punishment by death but good news for us is that led it gave us a chance to rescue them with a flying vehicle right and that was pretty much the only way that that could have ended so that's how it ended Luckily, they did not die there because I was getting a little bit worried, a little bit worried, but I was mostly pretty sure that it would all work out. We actually had our merchant friend help a little bit as well, but we still don't really trust him. But because he's just he's got his own agenda going on, I guess I guess just part of it was helping us like that was an aspect of his stuff. But definitely don't want to trust him. That's for sure. <clears throat> And then we have Mikumo with Roy pretty much whispering in her ear, right? Talk, telling her how who she is, who she should be, what she should do, like all that stuff. And then saying some words and we got energy energy stuff kind of like crawling up her skin. And yeah, it seems like he's taking control of her. So that, And we pretty much had to like leave her there as we left. So that's a real problem. We essentially just lost a member of Walkwada. One got shot. Freya's unconscious. Like it's not it's not looking great right now. But at least we're at least we most of us got out of there and we're alive. That's that's a good part of it. We actually did not talk about the Hayata father stuff. I mean, we referenced him in the sense of we're you know we're using his vehicle, but beyond that, we didn't get any more into the story. We didn't get any more information on that. So maybe we will in the future. But Hayata pretty cool though. Volunteering to be the first one to walk off. I don't know if I could have done that. And I think that's about all I really got to say on the episode. Like the Star Singer, that the that existence really was has been built up a lot. And if that is what Mikumo is, that is a pretty big deal. But still, she should not be in the hands of Windermere. I think we can all uh, agree on that. And also the Hayata's lines about not wanting to taint Freya's song with blood. That was that was good too. I mean our, I mean Hayata's never wanted to kill, like that's always been a thing. Like Mezzer Messer talked to him about back in the day. So it's something he's still kept pretty true to himself on. In spite of everything. Even if the uh the White Knight that does not does not exactly agree with his way of doing things. But the walk with edge is continuing to sing through all that really isn't really as impressive stuff but and yeah that, that was the episode we'll see how things go in the next one hopefully we can have all could all reunited and healthy at some point in the near future that's kind of what i'm hoping for so till then bye bye thank you for watching and a special thanks to snokey and ryan for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.